Okay, so here's everything that you need to know before you go see Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens next week. There are two main plot lines in the original Star Wars movies. The rise, the fall, and the redemption of Anakin Skywalker, and the fall of the Galactic Republic, the start of the Galactic Empire, and the struggle of the Rebel Alliance. In Star Wars Episode 1, Obi-Wan Kenobi finds Anakin Skywalker and starts training him as a Jedi. We also learn that Anakin is the chosen one who will bring balance to the Force. Senator Palpatine becomes Chancellor of the Galactic Republic. In Episode 2, Palpatine orders the creation of a clone army. Anakin falls in love with Padme, and the two are married in a secret marriage, which also marks the beginning of Anakin starting down the dark side because Jedi are forbidden to love and marry. In Episode 3, Anakin completes his fall to the dark side and becomes Palpatine's apprentice, Darth Vader. Palpatine turns the Galactic Republic into the First Galactic Empire. The clone army exterminates the Jedi with the help of Anakin. Obi-Wan Kenobi confronts Anakin and then leaves Anakin severely wounded. Palpatine puts the wounded Anakin Skywalker into the classic Darth Vader suit. Padme dies during the birth of twins, Luke and Leia, Palpatine and Vader head the Empire as Sith Lords. In Episode 4, we find the Rebel Alliance fighting against the Empire, led in part by Princess Leia. Luke Skywalker meets Obi-Wan Kenobi and learns of the Jedi and his father, Anakin. Obi-Wan confronts Vader and dies. Luke and Han Solo, with the help of the Rebel Alliance, destroy the Death Star. In Episode 5, Luke meets and trains with the Jedi Master Yoda to become a Jedi. And in one of the biggest movie reveals in history, Darth Vader reveals to Luke that he is his father. In Episode 6, Luke learns and reveals to Princess Leia that they are twin siblings. Luke confronts Vader and Emperor Palpatine. Vader redeems himself by saving Luke and killing the Empire, and in doing so dies. However, he dies as Anakin Skywalker. Luke completes his training and becomes a Jedi Knight. The Rebel Alliance attacks and destroys the second Death Star. The Empire is without its leadership and the Sith Lords are destroyed. And this is where we find ourselves in Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, 30 years later. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next week with my review of Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens.